Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today the washing machine motor wiring diagram. So, let's get started. This is the shit, man. You see in, the, in this uh, small clip, you are, the, you are searing the washing machine motor. There are a bunch of wire, thin ones, going around from this here, in this uh, special plug, and then going to the brushes and some other to the coil. Alright, so let's get back to the board and we will explain how the stuff works. Alright friends, so we are back. As we can see in this uh, board here, we got an universal motor. Universal motor meaning that this kind of motor is going to be able to run on AC and DC. Assuming that you are going to provide the same voltage. This universal motor is commonly used in the washing machine motor. So there I got my own, I started how to wire it and so on. All right, so we have this plug. As you can see in that uh, video there, we got some small wires. Uh, we got like uh, seven pins, but not all of them are connected. All right, so starting from left to right, you saw that two small wires coming from the pin one and two, and they are connected to a small coil inside. This is the taco coil the taco coil or taco meter we can lay it down like taco coil this one is used for regulating the speed basically it's going to spin some couple of times and with the resistance of the wire it's going to provide something that your controller is going to be able to control how much or how fast or how slow is going to spin the, the washing machine motor all right moving further along we will see that we got three pins normally this one we have two possibility. This one can be this through a coil to this one, or in some other washing machine's motor, we have the middle pin as well connected to this pin here and goes. This is like center tap and this one is just a coil normally tap. So you have the possibility number one or two. This is center tap, this is all a thing. Yeah, so remember it. So we have the taco coil, we have the coil itself, the middle coil. This one is wound around the, the stator. <clears throat> All right, then. Proceeding along, we got the last two pins. The last two pins are the brushes. You can see the brushes that are connected, you know, left and right to the motor. This is another cr criteria. If you will see that your motor have these brushes normally they are sideways left and right yeah if you're gonna see these brushes you're gonna notice straight away that this is a new universal motor and if you found it in a washing machine motor here you go you can do all sorts of stuff generator bike go-kart regulating the speed and so on and so on i saw even the crazy russians man doing some drills and jigsaws and stuff you know so very good all right so now having the brushes brushes yeah so these are all the pins in order to connect this one to AC or DC yeah because it's a new universal motor so it's got this possibility to be connected on AC and DC on AC is called direct drive and DC is called we're going to get a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to join the party too no catch no money no skills required <laughs> Yeah, so. All right, but in order to do this kind of stuff, the same procedure is for AC and DC as well. Yeah, so we will do like this. We have one brushes, one coil. Doesn't matter which one goes where, so is no problem there. We have one brushes. Yeah, we're gonna leave this one. We're gonna put this one. We're gonna connect to AC. The other brush, we're gonna bridge it to this. Thing. So these two are connected in the middle. The other and is going to be connected to the other plug of the AC. So there you have it folks. Cannot go simple in this. I got other videos about how to change the direction of it, how to regulate the speed and connect it on to DC, AC and lots more. All right. So there you have it, washing machine motor, wiring diagram, simple as it is, and you cannot get easier than this. Thanks all for watching. In the meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe.
Thumbs up and see you on the next one. Yeah. <laughs> this is the shit, man. This is